Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and as always told, out of voice of radio. So today, we got a couple of bits of news that we need to be catching up on. Including the fact that we need to start here, because this is probably the biggest place. Pokemon TCG Live is coming to more countries. In fact, actually, by the time you listen to this, it is not coming to more countries. It has come to more countries. I know. And this is something that will, well, it's going to make some people very happy. We, we can talk about the fact that, you know, some people don't love Pokemon TCG Live and the problems. But I think there is a bigger conclusion to draw here. Basically, the fact that Pokemon TCG Live is absolutely a thing. And it's not going away. And it is still coming. And it is going to be the future of the Pokemon trading card game. Because they've gone and made the beta available in more countries. And that should pretty much tell you what you need to know. Because if they're making it available in more countries, it means they're still pushing it. So it's now been made available in Australia, New Zealand, Canada, and Mexico. Now, it's still not available everywhere, let's be clear. It's not available over in the UK. But it's being made available in more places. What does that tell us? It tells us that the rollout is going. Now, admittedly, it's been a while. And I don't think that's a controversial statement, like, at all. It has been a while since Pokemon TCG Live came around. I mean, the video I made about the beta announcement and the fact that it's, you know, going online was February the 16th of this year. That was five months ago. I actually told you about it on September the 20th last year. That was 10 months ago at this stage. It's been quite a long beta. That happens. Now, I know there's bugs. There's bugs in every game. There's going to be bugs in every game. And I know that it's not ready. And you know how I know it's not ready? Because I haven't launched it yet. Like, if the game was ready to launch, they would launch it. So what they're doing is they're taking their time, they're rolling out the beta, and I think that's what we need to keep reminding ourselves. It is a beta. It has not yet been made the full client, and it's important to note, you know, things like the team challenge are still happening on PTCGO. And nobody is making you switch over. I've not switched over yet. I have yet to actually switch over to Pokemon TCG Live. I'm still using PTCGO. And I'm going to until it goes, you know, to become the full-time main client. Because you know what? I like PTCGO and it works. The fact of the matter is, PTCG Live is in a beta. And if you move your stuff over, you need to remember you're moving it over to a beta. And there are going to be problems. Yes, the beta's taken a while. But I'm going to be honest with you, right? I'm not a game developer. Maybe this is normal. I don't know. It seems like it's taken a while, but I don't have the expertise to really tell you one way or the other. But I think the big news here, and this is actually big news. There's been a lot of people coming out saying PDCG Live should be cancelled and all of that because there are still bugs, because it's not launched fully, etc. But this is still clearly coming. Because you don't expand the beta to new countries if you're just about to can it. If nothing else, if they ever did cancel it, and let's be clear, they're clearly not. But if they ever did, they'd have to let everyone migrate their collections back to PTCGO. And you don't want to open up the beta in more countries, get more people to move their collections and then cancel it. That's just opening up a whole can of worms. It is still coming. I suppose we now just have to wait and see in terms of how long it's going to take. But it is still coming. And that is actually a pretty big deal. Now, I did show you the other day about that Absol, which is coming in Korokoro Magazine. Well, that has now been revealed in nice, high quality and all of that. We've now got a perfect look at the card. The translation, which I did myself, yay, is now confirmed to be correct. It's just free energy. Choose a card from your opponent's hand without looking and put it into the loss zone. So, yeah. It's coming. It's a thing. These Korokoro promos do tend to come around. Now, what is interesting, when we had that leak the other day, I wasn't even a leak. Leak's definitely not the right word. When we had that list of cards sent to Japanese players with English set numbers, 
we learned that the Koro Koro Manaphy is going to be a promo. And although it's not 100% confirmed, the way the promo numbers work makes it overwhelmingly likely that it is going to be a free pack blister promo for whatever the set is after Lost Origin. For Lost Origin, we do actually have Regigigas as a free pack blister promo. And that was, again, a previous Koro Koro promo, which is rather nice. But the way the promo numbers work tells us that unless something really weird is going on, this is going to be a free pack blister promo for whatever the set happens to be after you know, after Lost Origin, we just don't actually know what that is. And I believe that magazine is actually out now. I believe that magazine has released. So it's one of those, if you want to go and get it, I don't know, maybe go and get it sooner rather than later before you're out of time. Now, speaking of things we have a bit more information about, and I'll be honest with you, we're going to be pretty quick on this one. But it's just worth noting that that Dragonite set, the one that's coming out on September the 30th, one of my I mean, look, September the 30th is a super, super busy time, all right? Uh, apparently, I'm going to get lots of nerdy stuff. Um, hopefully, my wife's cool with it. But that is one of the, you know, one of the real highlight sets from Pokemon Go, one of the highlight products. We do now have a little bit more, want well, a little bit of a better look, so to speak. A bit of a better look at the packaging and just kind of how the box actually looks. So we've got a look at the back, which gives us a, a lovely little... Well, here's the kind of thing. It actually tells us there is a bonus challenge. An epic raid brings mighty rewards. A powerful Dragonite V-Star for your collection and a premiable hold of your favorite deck. With a V-Star power that shares loads of energy with your Pokemon, Dragonite V-Star soars to strategic heights and you'll receive it along with Dragonite V in a special collection. To top it off, the sturdy premiable case holds a fully sleeved deck of cards for an ultimate statement of Pokemon trainer style. Now, what is important here, it says it will hold a fully sleeved deck. That was one of our big questions, remember? Seems like it now will, which is rather lovely. We then got a better look at the product from a couple of different angles without having the outer casing on. So you can see what the box might look like on your shelf. Again, it does feature those promos of both Dragonite V and Dragonite V Star, the ones that were in the promo pack over in Japan. This is the only place to get these. Now, they are all to the art. And that is important to note, which means if you just want Dragonite V and V Star, they can be pulled in the set like normal. But if you want this specific artwork of Dragonite V and V Star, this is the only product in which you can actually get them. Good. Good. And the last piece of news I want to mention just quickly today is that those erasers, the um those products which feature Pikachu and Eevee erasers, the back to school products. They've been spotted in game in the UK. I was not expecting these products to make their way over to the UK. These seemed like the thing that were released in the US and stayed in the US. But I've seen multiple people posting that they have actually been spotted in game in the UK. Now, they cost £10, which means, again, when you factor in the exchange rate, we're not doing quite as well as other countries. We're paying a little bit over the odds, but honestly, I'm kind of all right with it. Like, it's not ideal, don't get me wrong, but in the grand scheme of things, it ain't too bad, ladies and gentlemen. It ain't too bad. And as I've told you about this a lot, you're talking 10 quid for two packs and an eraser, a rubber, as we would call it in the UK, in the shape of Pikachu or Eevee. But you're just getting a couple of packs here. So really, and as weird as this might sound, if you're buying this, you're kind of buying it for the rubber. So if you want that, brilliant buy it it's kind of cool and certainly you know send your kids to school with it and they will be i imagine the envy of their classmates but otherwise i think these are fairly skippable products if i'm honest with you ladies and gentlemen i think these are ones that we can look at and go oh they're kind of cool but i can do without them for now so yeah that's the news We've got a better look at the Absol. We've got a better look at the Dragonite product. There's a Razor Pack that turned up in England. And Pokemon TCG Live really does seem like it's here to stay, which I think is a pretty gosh darn big deal. But I want to hear from you guys. So let me know in the comment section, would you? Go nuts! Be nice. 
And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk about a whole bunch of Pokemon stuff and games and Pokemon games and all kinds of fun things. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio. That is where you can, whoa, join in with a Discord, share some deck lists and, you know, have lots of fun. It's pretty much weekly bonus pods where I answer your questions, talk about whatever you want to talk about. And I give shout outs to lovely people like Adam Beechers, who has been one of our supporters for a little while here. And yeah, Adam is a lovely fellow. I like all of my Patreons. They're good people. And I like giving them shout outs. And that's why I'm doing it now. But by far the most important thing is always... Look after yourself till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.